Welcome back, this is Doug from MerchMetrics.com and I'm going to go through how to upload our design that we just created, our carabiner picture. So I'm going to go up to my avatar at the top right hand corner and I'm going to go to add new work. I'm going to click upload to all products and then I'm going to find on my desktop the carabiner picture that we created. Carabiner design, I'm going to open it. All right, so Redbubble will create for you uh, translations of your products. If you have um, the ability, you could um, you could use like Google Translate to come up with your own if you wanted to make your own uh, German, French, and Spanish um, translations, you can. Uh, you do have to click this little I want to translate everything myself button, uh, otherwise, they'll do it for you. So you don't really have to worry about that. Here you can see that I do have this, um, my image uploaded. There's a bunch of white background, but the white background is all transparent, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, I do need to give my uh, image a four to eight word title, and it's important to use a keyword that we think will be found, uh, will help find this product when someone searches for it. So I'm gonna say this is a carabiner, sure the spelling is right yeah uh, carabiner uh, rock climbing uh, image uh, design and then we get us we get a select tags um, you can click the I it'll give you more information you can click you can create up to 15 tags for each um, in, for each uh, design that you upload so we want to come up with we want to come up with 15 for basically every product that we ever create. So we want to do rock climbing, climbing, bouldering, like climbing without ropes on smaller rocks. Um, we want to do mountains, uh, forest, camping, hiking, Repelling, I don't know if that's correct. Uh, two P's repelling, so repelling uh, as in going down a rope. Um, uh, rope, there's a good one. Um, let's see, what else? I'm not really a mountain climber or rock climber, so I don't know a lot of the specific terminology. I think we're, we've got kind of most of them. Uh, we didn't put carabiner in there. Carabiner. Some of these specific terms the dictionary doesn't capture, but um, I looked this up earlier, so I'm pretty confident in that spelling. And even if I'm not, if it's a common misspelling that people commonly would use, uh, then it's fine. Um, bouldering, I think, is maybe a regional term. I'm, I live in Wyoming. It's something that um, that I have heard that I that I know of, but um, but it's not necessarily a dictionary word. Uh, so what are we at? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go with outdoors, uh, national park, national forest. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, tent and I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll stick with that. Uh, the description is also something that can be used to uh, identify keywords, so we want to make sure that we describe our product pretty um, pretty accurately, but that we're also using some relevant terms. So this um, carabiner design is meant to appeal to lovers of the outdoors, climbers, and hikers. Uh, and here you can see that it has pre-populated our design onto a whole bunch of products. Uh, what we can do is we can click and select each of the designs. Uh, we want to go ahead and decide how we want these to look. So I can create like a left pocket style design where it's small. I can pick my default color. Um, my background isn't transparent. Uh, 
and that's a problem. So now that we got our design uploaded, we have our title, tags, and description. We can scroll down here and start working on the products. So if we click on one of the products, like this t-shirt here, you can see that there are a whole bunch of styles available. Uh, I can do sort of a generic design where I can have like a large image in the center and that will apply to all the products. I can also um, individually select each one and adjust that product. Uh, also the default color. The customer can go and pick additional colors if they, if they so desire. Um, but we can go ahead and make sure that each one looks okay, that we put the graphic where we think it fits and that we have a default color that we think is attractive because that's what's going to show up in our store. Uh, unfortunately, the Racerback T really only the white one kind of makes sense. Uh, the, the other two, unfortunately, don't. There's our baseball. We can, we can select different colors. I think all of them pretty much look good except for the one that's black on the, on the body or dark gray on the body because it unfortunately just with a black design doesn't look good. We could go back to Illustrator. We could take this design and we could um, change the black fill to a white fill and then we could put it on dark color shirts. So that's something we could do as an additional uh, and we could also create um, stickers that way. So we're going through just selecting each product, seeing what we think looks good. I think for the most part these all look fine. We could change the on this one so that it's not cut off in the middle, which I think would be okay. So we've looked at all the products, we've selected a default color, uh, we can move on to the next product. Here you can see that this is a single, just a single product. So we don't have the drop down box with additional versions. We can pick some colors. Um, you got to be careful with some of these darks. The black doesn't look true black, but you will not be able to see that image. You'd have to do another one in a different color if you want to be able to see that. Uh, so let's go with like gray. We can center horizontally, make sure that our image is perfectly centered. We should probably go back and do that here as well. Um, the all over print shirts, you can pick any color you want for the background color. And this is true of like things like the phone cases and things as well. So I could pick like an attractive color that I thought looked good with this design. Since it's just black, it doesn't really matter. Um, lighter, brighter colors probably look better so that we can actually see the image. Um, if we decide that this particular design just isn't going to look good on this particular shirt. Uh, we can go ahead and disable it by just clicking the enable button. Uh, I usually disable these um, all over print shirts with the black sleeves. I just don't think that they look good so I usually turn those off. Most of my designs aren't going to look good on a um, on a dress so that's not something that I worry about either. You can see that the sticker actually looks really cool. Um, so we can see which ones we have them on. Uh, we have all of them on at a 20% markup. I'll show you in the future. I don't change the markup on individual products. You can change it for all your products and that's where I would do it. So don't change your, your pricing here inside the, uh, the product creator. Uh, as we just go through, we're just going to click each product and make sure that the design fits and looks good. Um, on each one. I think this one looks pretty cool too. Um, I might even create another version of this where I rotated it 90 degrees because I think on some of these products where it would look good long ways. Uh, but for this particular one I think it's fine. We'll just go ahead and horizontally and vertically align that. Uh, I think some of these don't make a whole lot of sense, like the um, wallet phone case, so we'll just go ahead and turn that one off. I don't know if anyone would buy this pillow. Uh, we could certainly make it available. I would pick maybe a gray, like a light gray for the background. 
uh, something else we could do is we could create patterns with our design which might appeal to someone who was an avid climber they could have a pillow with a carabiner design print all over uh, we'll go ahead and leave that one I think it looks kind of cool uh, same with this one I pick like a light gray I want the image to show up I want to choose a pattern like an offset pattern and then shrink my image down so that you can see multiple on the pillow I think that looks pretty neat so I'll apply the changes and that's what we do we just go through each product to make sure that if it doesn't look good that we disable it if it does look good we go ahead and accept it or pick a background color same with the laptop sleeves and pouches I wouldn't want a white laptop sleeve because I think it would get too dirty uh, you can also create patterns on these same with coming soon we'll have shower curtains I'm gonna turn that off I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense I think it looks really cool as a coffee mug but I think it's too big because we want to be able to see the whole image uh, I think that looks great uh, we could also change the background color on this one and I'm just picking gray but any light or bright color would probably look good I want like a light gray I think that looks good we could also create a pattern on here which I think actually looks pretty nice so we'll go ahead and keep that um, I don't think a wall tapestry or scarf makes sense the laptop sleeve looks pretty cool kind of the way it is I would turn that to a gray as well and apply the changes uh, I think the clock looks really cool uh, I think the bag looks really cool I don't think the journal looks very good this is one where you can put the same image on the front and back of the hardcover you just have to shrink it and then center it and both sides would see would look like that we could also create a pattern which I think we want pretty small and then we want to move it around a little bit so the front cover isn't cut off I, I don't worry as much about the back cover so we might have to play with the scale a little bit to get it perfect that I think the front cover it looks really good and then down the spine they're not cut off either except for on the edge here and the back cover I think is less important uh, we could also change the background color to that gray uh, the clock I think is one of the cooler ones the acrylic block I leave enabled because it doesn't hurt anything but I don't know what the purpose of an acrylic block is I have something I always say maybe uh, maybe I just don't understand uh, set the background on this bath mat which I think is really cool so we'll apply those changes the water bottle looks really cool we gotta make it smaller or choose a pattern though I think the offset looks good but we need a lot more of them there we go that looks cool we're gonna apply those changes uh, there's a few new products at the bottom coming soon are socks and canvas mounted prints I can enable them now and then when they're available they'll automatically be included and again this is something where I would choose a pattern and a color and then shrink down to that size I think that looks very good we will apply the changes there because it's a, a product that wraps all the way around and you're not gonna have any seams in the design I think it's gonna look really cool uh, this one I think looks good I might even scale it up and just leave a single one on this one it looks like the print area is a little smaller than the whole area though so let's go ahead and center that same with this one I think we change the background image to a gray but I don't think for a, a print like this it makes sense to have a, to have a tiled pattern uh, now as we're finishing this off we just need to pick what media categories we want to put it in so I think design and illustration and digital art are both appropriate for this product I, if I had a collection set up in my store like I had a rock climbing collection I could add it to the collection that's another opportunity for you to get some keywords so in the future I'll show you how to create a collection is this mature content no this is not in the default view in my shop I can pick which item I want my customers to see when they look at this item I could pick my highest margin item I could pick the item I think looks the best um, I think the stickers probably look the best 
and then I have to say I have the right to sell this product and this artwork is mine. I'm not using a company's name or logo without permission. I'm not using a person's face without permission and um, any featured words or images that were um, created by anyone else, uh, that I have the rights to those. Once I've done all that, all my products are listed and I've selected the ones I want. I just have to click save work and my item will be processed. These will now be available through my store and it does take a little bit of time for your items to be processed so it's not instantaneous. Um, do know that if you go back and check right now you may or may not see them in your store. You will see a preview of all of the items. There's that acrylic block. They're not cheap either. That's the other thing. I mean maybe that's a good reason why I should continue to sell them. Um, but now you can see what all the products look like. You can preview if you want at this point you can go and make changes to any of the products and say if I didn't fix it, uh, I didn't pick a color, or I didn't, uh, for, for whatever reason, I didn't, uh, it doesn't look the way I, I thought it was look, gonna look. Like for instance, this one, the zipped hoodie, um, it's too high. The zipped hoodie needs to be modified. It needs to be brought down a bit, which means I have to bring all of that design down. So if I go back up to the top and I click edit work, say I definitely noticed something that didn't look good. It's this one, I need to go down a bit and then I will go ahead and horizontally align that there. Same thing, it's just as if you were doing um, doing the whole upload process again. So I'll just go ahead and re-accept and I'll get my preview again and we'll make sure that it looks better. Yeah, the stickers look really cool. The transparent sticker, you can't see the middle where there's, it, it doesn't have a white background. Uh, so I think that looks actually really neat too. The framed art actually is kind of cool. All right, so that looks better on the sweatshirt. Some of them look like the light sweatshirt. It's a little low, but I can't change just that product. That's one of the downsides of, of Redbubble as a platform is that all those grouped products they're, they're all modified together, so unfortunately I can't really change that. Uh, another one is the travel mug looks pretty cool. I think it could be, the image could be smaller. And then the water bottle, I didn't think I picked such a dark gray. Uh, I'm not sure if my image would show up really well on there. Um, so probably I would have to go back and modify that to pick a slightly less dark gray. Uh, but that's the process of uploading your designs. And um, if we go back and look at our store now, you can see that our default images of the sticker which looks pretty cool. It is cut off, uh, which I don't necessarily like. Um, but that's not our shop image. This is our shop image where we're showing the default of the sticker. And it, it looks fine here. So, um, so that is pretty much how you upload your products to Redbubble. And the next video I'll go through and I'll show you exactly how we set our pricing so that we get a profit margin that we think is worthwhile. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.